Once again, I'm feeling the strong desire to achieve something. It's ambition time. Ah uh, yes, here's what the series is known best for. Walls of text. <laughs> All right, to continue the convoluted plot thus far. <laughs> Ted, man of composure. You know, I really hope they introduce the pizza boy. I can only imagine how ridiculous he would look. <laughs> it's 11.50 p.m. Do you know where your ambition is? On the last episode of Ambition... We had just reached level two. Will we level up to level three in this part? Find out in this exciting episode of Ambition. If you want to really know what happened, you should talk to the black dude. God, the fuck, lady? I'm not saying another word unless you give me full immunity. That's exactly how this type of thing works. Oh, you're good. Who the fuck is singing? Is that Ted? You've already told me you'll charge me for so-called stealing the black dude's car. I want blanket immunity or I zip my mouth shut and take my chances. Fuck me. Is that Ted? <laughs> it's time to get these two lovebirds back together. I and let's continue on with the lie. the lie. I can't hear myself. I can't hear anything over Ted. Ted, shut the hell up. <laughs> she says what we all would like to say to him. Sorry. You know, Bridget, what did you... is that you? Yes, it's me, you crazy The rest of this episode will be these two shouting at each other from separate rooms. Would you shut him this up? new form of torture, I'd like to call it Ted Torture, has been outlawed in many countries. It's worse than waterboarding. Bring him over here. I'll make him shut up. And another Ted joins the fray. Let's get a few more and get an all Ted acapella group. And there's another Ted. That's the animation for part three. Oh, and Helen's here too. The gang's all here. Be quiet. Sure, I'll sing some more. Jeez, Bridget, he only asked how you were doing. Okay. How are you? What are you doing to me, Bridget? Ted, I want you to tell the truth about the murder. What truth? Would and by truth, I mean you need to Did agree to the story the I made up about you. I didn't kill anyone, and you know it. This whole thing's been a setup from the beginning. She doped me and spread blood all over my apartment and stole the kids. <laughs> and also oh, strapped Jesus. dynamite to me. No, Just ignore the fact that I was going to blow people up. Stories? You're insane. You need to be locked up and treated so you're no longer a threat to society. She's a cold-blooded, manipulative liar. I don't need this. Can I go now? <laughs> nope, you get to share a cell with him now. You need to talk to the black dude. <sighs> Always All talking about the black dude. Ted at Ted's apartment when the pizza was delivered and then the two of them took off in the black dude's car after the red-haired woman. Jeez, Bridget, you're going to fall into the pit you're digging for me. Shut up. I was home all night. Prove it. I polished off a 40-pounder, babe. Even I need for more than freezing? 10 minutes to knock one of those puppies back. 
I saw you with the black dude on the lake road at 1130. If you deny it, you're a liar. Ah, I see Gibson is employing 2020 John. logic. Don't agree with me? Then you're wrong. <laughs> I was too busy breaking out of jail. The black dude's an operative for my boyfriend, Rolf Klink. I can't tell you anything more unless you give me immunity. So does a spelling error in a speech writer mean he has a speech impediment? <laughs> Again, what we're all thinking. Are you simple or something? I already told you. I didn't think it was smart to be driving a stolen car. Think I chose her to be the mother of my children. You two God, deserve one you're another. You're a loser, Ted. What the, like, what the fuck is Duke on? doing here? And why is he talking like Ned Flanders? Immunity and witness protection. Why are you endangering the life of our witness by exposing her to a known violent criminal? <laughs> I'm using advanced interrogation techniques you wouldn't understand. What the heck? Uh, today's episode of Ambition is brought to you by What the Fuck? What the heck are you doing? Don't look at me. I warned you she was fruitier than a case of oranges. What was all that about, Bridget? A bad itch? Shut oh, up. Oh, man. Bridget is voicing oh, every player of the Ambition series I'm with this outburst. I'm not saying anything more without immunity and witness protection. When I sat in the luxurious leather seats, Sherlock. Now, are you going to give me immunity or No, you're getting all twisted up with the facts. Facts are the enemy of truth. Who said that? Oh my God, who cares? Very good. You're smarter than you look. The wisdom in that quote is that you will never know the truth if you restrict yourself only to the facts. Amen. Please, I'm tired and you're not making any sense. I'm totally Your facts are confusing me. My children need me. Can I go now? <laughs> no. Why not? All right, maybe I did. So book me for mischief. <laughs> um, actually, that's a bigger offense. Murder? You're a fool. I have no motive and you have no evidence. You blew it, baby. Because Ted's a no-good, deadbeat dad, and he deserves to rot in jail. So? So the only way you would have known there was a murder to frame me with is if you had something to do with it, baby. Oh, please. Stop I'm saying baby, you man-child. It was working for Rolf. I knew it was going down, but there was nothing I could do about it. You were right about them silencing the shrink's criticism of the drug. And here's some exposition. Oh, shoot. What, what's going on? Strapped around your middle. What? Freezing? <laughs> what the heck? Is this a joke? <laughs> Get me out of this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kids, where's Bridget? Oh, no. Oh, no. You know what? Everyone's guilty. Throw them all in jail. Wait a minute. I just realized we never leveled up to level three. How can we go in the face of the boss now? 